three parts of a length on the outside that's La Grande Society as they approach the half mile marker. Melrose Park maintains the lead. Muckadale, he's on the outside of challenging second. Wellwood, Batsy in third. It's Ellis Us on the outside, followed now by Dan's bed. Desperate Julie Mask, Lady La Grande Society. The field's halfway home. What a one and two. Now they move into the clubhouse turn, and Melrose Park maintains the lead of length. On the outside, that's Muckadilla challenging second. Alizas, she's set to go three wide. It's Wildwood Betsy. Followed on the outside of horses, dance bid mask lady. They curve into the back stretch, approaching the final quarter. And Melrose Park has the lead three parts of a length. But Alizas is fourth now, moving to third on the far outside. Wildwood Betsy needs racing room. They're by the three quarter mile mark. But Melrose Park sprints clearly to length and a quarter. On the inside, it's Wildwood Betsy back to second on the outside Muckadil and LSS now they're in the final eighth of a mile but it's all Melrose Park here they come turning for home and Melrose Park has the lead two legs well would Betsy off stride is dance bid it's Melrose Park strutting clear it's Melrose Park with the lead it's all Melrose Park tonight well would Betsy and desperate Julie third And ladies and gentlemen, the number one post position finally wins here at Maywood Park. Number one post, traditionally the hottest post position here at Maywood Park, has gone 0 for 27 prior to this victory. Results are now official. Time for the mile. 2-1 for Fats. The second race rundown is one, two, three, five, eight, four, six, seven on the bottom. And tonight's daily double, a three, one combination returns $27 and 20 cents. Returning to the winner's circle will be number one, Melrose Park. Melrose Park is owned by the Triangle B Stables and Guy LaBianco of Illinois, trained and driven by Sterling Book. The final two, one, four fifths, and that is a mark for Sterling Melrose Park.